Hi everyone, welcome back to Gloucester Golf Centre, myself Joe Lavery. So if you're watching this, you're probably finding you're hitting the ball much shorter than what you're used to, or you're just lacking power in general. Now there's normally one main cause for this. Um, so what basically happens is if you're lacking power, theoretically you're going to be lacking in club head speed through impact. So if I swing this nice and smooth, you can see there, the ball's only gone about 104 yards. However, if I swing this one a lot faster, you see that ball suddenly there goes a lot further, it goes 164. So we need to try and find a way for you to maintain control and actually be able to generate more speed because by simply adding more speed, what I'm going to do is I'm going to lose control and just end up flailing my arms a little bit and not making a proper golf swing. So what I'd certainly like to see then um, is I want you to have a look at your um, sort of weight distribution during your backswing. I want to have a look. I want you to have a look at your hips and kind of see what's happening. So do this in a couple of practice swings. What you're probably going to find is that your weight is staying on your left leg. If your weight's staying on your left leg, you're not able to transfer your weight effectively through impact and then back towards the target. What's actually going to happen is your weight's going to travel backwards, and we call this a reverse pivot. Now, if your weight starts travelling backwards your hands and arms have to take over and they're not going to move as fast as if you generate the torque with the body and actually then able to drive through. Great way to do this and if you grip the club the other way around, if you start holding onto the shaft up near the head, what you're going to start doing is start trying to make swishing noises. You're going to move 10% more of your weight towards the back foot to give yourself a bit of a head start. So if we're now looking, you know, we had 50-50 before, we're going to go 60-40 slightly on the back foot, and that's especially relevant with a driver. What you're going to find now is on the way back, you're going to transfer another 10%, so about 70% onto that back foot, and then you're going to get the feeling of swooshing that club through. Driving, you'll see that I'm driving all the weight towards the target. The way you can also imagine this, if you had a boxer, weight goes back to then drive forwards, exactly the same in the golf swing. The weight has to come back this way. Notice that I've managed to keep my posture here. I haven't collapsed this way. I've come back, allowing me then to actually drive through towards the target. So then, thoughts when you're over the ball. So what you're going to do is set up over the ball. So I'm going to produce 10% more weight this way. I say much more relevant with a driver than with an iron. So you're going to get 10 more percent that way, if you've got a driver, if you've got an iron, I'd leave it fairly, fairly similar, but making sure you are 50-50 with the weight. What you're going to find now is you are going to take that club away, making sure the weight is going to move onto this right side. So you're going to favour 70% of your weight then onto the right side, allowing you then to drive the weight back through during impact. And you can see from there I was able to generate a lot more club head speed with ease, rather than the sort of thing of then trying to produce it with my arms and losing complete control. And you can see that shot there had a slower swing speed than the previous one where I set up, got the feeling now the weight's going to go onto that right leg and then drive through towards the target. And I'm able to increase that control and also generate more club head speed. Give it a try yourself when you're on the driving range. Um, comment below, please subscribe. Thanks and see you soon.